you want to, talk all the shit you want, because I'm here to stay. I'm not done. I'm the sixth fastest woman in this game ever. That when you guys do interviews, y'all should respect athletes more. Y'all should understand them coming from whether they're winning, whether they're losing, whatever the case may be. Athletes deserve way more respect. Sha'Carri Richardson is famous not only for her exceptional track prowess, but also because of how strong she is outside of the sport. She has never been one to accept crap from anyone, even the media, who has the power to make or break her career. No one can stop her from stepping up for herself and others. Of course, this kind of behavior was not well received by everyone. Some were even quick to point out that when she wins, she's all smiles, as she flaunts her nails or hair, or both. But then, when she loses, she snaps at reporters. The words, sore loser, were used to describe her over the years. That, too, happened recently, after she lost the 100-meter Olympic gold to Julian Alfred. As a matter of fact, she and bronze medalist Melissa Jefferson did not attend the press conference for the event. Because of this, the St. Lucian Olympic champion was asked how she felt about it. Some say that Shakari Richardson continued to show her frustration on winning silver at the women's 100-meter final in Paris during the 2024 Olympic Games. Although, there was a moment when she broke her frustration to tell reporters how she felt about coming in second behind St. Lucia's Julian Alfred. As Richardson walked through the mixed zone at the Stade de France, a reporter asked the American star if she was happy. Reportedly, as she breezed past reporters, Richardson replied, very happy, but reiterated that still wasn't talking. Nonetheless, this marked the first time the star spoke to reporters after her disappointing outing against Alfred. Well, technically, she did talk to a reporter about 15 minutes after she lost gold to Alfred. Apparently, she had a tense back and forth with a reporter when she corrected how her name was pronounced. Other than that, though, Richardson has remained silent, electing not to speak to journalists about her outing. Favored to win the women's 100-meter final, hey, Richardson was shocked by Alfred, who came in first with a time of 10.71. But here's the thing. Shortly after the race, it appeared as if there was no ill will between the two Olympians. As Richardson was quick to congratulate Alfred after her stunning win, known as the fastest woman on earth thanks to her time during the Olympic trials in Oregon, Richardson's loss came as a shock to fans. But the way she behaved doesn't really prove that she's a sore loser, does it? She has her flaws, yes, but the media has arguably painted her in a worse light. Unlike others, she is outspoken and direct, which is not something the world is used to. To be fair, it's not easy being an athlete having to face the media and talk about setbacks and failures. Unfortunately for Shaqori, she faced some hiccups during a press conference before she could shine at the World Championships in 2023. Although, truth be told, this is not something new. Anyhow, one of her strongest on-track rivals, Sharika Jackson, made some observations about her. In the recent Netflix documentary, Series Sprint, the two women running icons were followed around as they locked horns for the world title. Although they had always been pitted against each other during races, historically, Jackson and Richardson have always held respect for each other. Long story short, when a reporter pointed out the reasons why Richardson failed to make her Olympic debut in Tokyo during the Budapest World Championships 2023 press conference, she did not react well. She seemed agitated at the question and the reporter for bringing up her past. But isn't that a natural reaction to being reminded of something you would rather not remember? Anyway, the documentary noted what the Jamaican had to say about the instance. I think Shakari, when she came in this sport, she never know how to deal with negativity. If you don't know how to deal with it, the media will eat you alive, Jackson was noted saying. It's easy to see that after the fiasco that ensued three years ago, where Richardson met severe backlash from fans for her actions, the media saw an opening and also made several digs at the sprinter. However, she made her feelings clear at last year's World Championships, when she chose not to face the reporters after winning the women's 100-meter race. She may not have the best of relationships with the media now, but it doesn't seem as bad as it was before. Some say that she, in fact, appears to be on course to come to better terms with the reporters. 
According to APN News, Richardson shared her preparations for the Paris Games and how she intends to etch her name among the best of the best. In the interview, the national sprinting sensation talked about how she has strengthened in recent years and how it has helped her communicate with the media differently than she used to. I would say in the past few years, I've grown to have a better understanding of myself, Shakari said, claiming that she now comprehends her place within the track world better and hence understands why it's important to show her face to the media now and then. I have a deeper respect and appreciation for the role I have in the sport, as well as my responsibility to the people who believe and support me," she said, as she explained why she's become more accepting of reporters. On that note, even though it appears that the years have mellowed her temper down, Shakari won't be Shakari if she isn't speaking her mind. It goes without saying that Richardson had come a long way to fight her battle and prove her worth to the track and field world. Perhaps this is one of the reasons why four-time Olympic champion Michael Johnson is convinced that Shaq Corey is a unique athlete. In an interview, the American sprint legend explained one major reason that sets Richardson apart from other sprinters of this generation. Among other things, he noted that the fast-rising track star is always herself, without feeling the need to act or be like any other athlete. Johnson, a former 200-meter world record, added that the 24-year-old has transformed the sport through her unique journey from serving a doping suspension to making an impact on the global stage. I think Shikari is a very good example of an athlete who is not copying any previous greats to make an impact in the sport," Johnson said. The people that make the biggest impact are those who are just authentically themselves, and she is certainly that, an amazing talent who's had a unique journey to actually realize her talent on the track and win medals. She's probably one of the most interesting athletes and a fantastic talent," he added. Another world-class athlete who can prove that Shakari is indeed an extraordinary sprinter is the 200-meter Olympic champion herself. Gabby Thomas received another Olympic gold after Shakari helped the team to a win in the 4x100-meter relay. Passing the baton to Shikari is a very special and unique thing. She's so fast, and we know we're in good hands as soon as she gets her hands on the baton," Gabby admitted. For her part, Shikari did her part as a member of the team. I just remember trusting my third leg, trusting Gabby, and knowing that she's going to put that stick in my hand no matter what, and to leave my best on the track," she shared. She always does her best, yes. But again, she won't be herself if she doesn't say the first thing that comes to mind. It could have ended there, but of course it didn't.